everybody. Thank you so much for joining me here at Ashley Marie's Keto Kitchen, where we find ways to make this way of life and eating fun and sustainable over time. So today, we're gonna get right into it. We are making chicken fajitas bake. Now, this is gonna be about seven net carbs per serving. It's really simple and easy to throw together. So let's get right to it. For our ingredients, we have two pounds of chicken thighs, two tablespoons of butter, one tablespoon of minced garlic. That's gonna be one cup of sour cream, four ounces of cream cheese, and I have um, about a cup and a half of mild cheddar cheese. Now you may not use all of the cheese, but this is kind of based on how big or how small your pan is gonna be. And I have two red peppers and one orange pepper. So those are sweet. Normally here at our house, we don't really care for onions and peppers, but I absolutely go for those. So let's get to the stove. First um, step is gonna be to add the butter and garlic to the skillet. It already smells amazing. So we're gonna add our peppers. And then we're gonna add some Goya seasoning. Now this comes in eight packs and it literally tastes amazing with anything. You can do this with your peppers, with rice, um, with chicken. I add a little bit to my chicken thighs. So we're gonna let those go. Now I do have some water on standby because I don't want my garlic and butter sticking to the pan. So there you go. My butter and garlic is still going. I took out my peppers. Um, so this is kind of like a one pot situation. I'm gonna go ahead and add my chicken thighs. Now my stove is on 350, ready to go from when I'm ready to bake it. So now it is time to cook our chicken. Now, um, I do recommend that you get boneless chicken thighs. I accidentally got the ones with the bones, so I did have to cut the bones out. But um, either way, I just like chicken thighs instead of chicken tenders in this situation, because they are a lot more tender. So while our chicken is still um, simmering over there and smelling so delicious, let's go ahead and add the cream cheese and sour cream together and then we're gonna put in our taco seasoning. I like to do it this way because um, the seasoning, because this mixture is going all over the chicken, I feel like it just gets in there and it's gonna be a little bit more incorporated. So this is my sour cream. We put the four ounces of cream cheese. Now you do wanna do softened cream cheese. So when you're about to start your dish, go ahead and take it out, I would say about one to two hours before, depending on what you're making. Some people do um, go ahead and just put it in the microwave for about 15 to 20 seconds, not long at all. So that's all mixed together. Let's go ahead and add our, now I do, a, I do, do a whole um, taco seasoning packet. So this one is by McCormick. This is gonna be the mild. Um, I did try it with like only a half a pack and it did not taste as flavorful, but my family still thought it was awesome. At least that's what they told me. So we're gonna put this all, mix this all together. So I love the way this is coming together nicely. So some my ideas while I'm mixing this up, what you could put this with, um, of course, if you have, or if you found some low carb tortillas, um, that's always helpful. I use Olay Wellness Wraps. These are absolutely amazing, and they're gonna be four net carbs a piece. So I've seen people um, like spray a little bit of oil on top of those, put them in the oven, and then slice them up to be chips. So I wanna try that for sure. So this is kind of, it looks a little bit lumpy, <laughs> but once we get it mixed in with the, with the chicken, it's gonna be all right. So we've got all of that incorporated. Now, once my chicken is done, I'm gonna bring out my pan and put it all together. So we've got our cooked chicken, cooked peppers together. So now we're gonna add our cream cheese and sour cream with the packet all mixed together. I hope you guys can see this well. All right, so we're gonna make sure this gets all mixed together. Make sure it's all well incorporated. Now I have kind of, uh, I wouldn't say nested up, but kind of played with the measurements. 
One time I was I was just saying, hey, maybe I don't need, you know, a whole packet wasn't flavorful enough. Maybe I only need half a cup of um, sour cream. Um, it, it felt like it was a little bit too thick. So, um, you know, the measurements that you have, they're gonna be perfect for what you need. So you're gonna get this right into your pan. going to add the cheese now as far as how long it's going to go in to the oven um, really I would say that just to kind of depends on how much you how much cheese you put in since this is already cooked and if you wanted to and if you were hungry right now you could take this put it in a taco and have at it but I like to add a little bit of cheese so this is my cup and a half of cheese like I said you may not use all of it but let's see how far we get. Normally, when it's in the bag, take it and spread like this. Hopefully this is gonna be enough. So, the way that you know that it's gonna be done is just by how much cheese, how much, you know, the cheese is um, melted on the top. Here is our end result. This is chicken fajitas bake. Now I did add about a half a cup of cheese just to the top so I could make sure it was uh, fully covered. So I decided I want some crunch in my life so I just added some, um, some pork skins or pork rinds as other people would call it. On this side we have a low carb tortilla that's gonna be the Olay wellness wrap on top. Did the dollop of daisy and that is it. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out the recipe. If you found any value in the video, please like, share, and subscribe. Go ahead and hit the notification button so you don't miss a recipe and you don't miss a video.